Hello guys, this is MTG Sigil and I got a box of M14. At the moment it is 11.22, the clock. So yeah, at the moment no one has posted a video about it. So yeah, and in case if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because it helps me out a lot and I have a 200 subscriber contest video which I'll put in the description so yeah I'm going to open it so I, it seems to me that no one likes this set I do, and I hope I can get at least five young pyromancers because they are legacy staples. The foils already went five dollars up in price at the moment, they're fifteen or twenty. So, yeah, I hope I can get at least one foil off that because I need it. has this corset thingy. So yeah. Let's da 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 Sandra. Let's open some boosters. So I'll, I'm only going through the uncommons and rares. Okay, and roaching wastes, wall of swords, a Sengir vampire, and our rare is ogre battle driver. So yeah, I, and a separating token. So this is pretty okay. Might see some play. So yeah. I also got a Spanish buy a box promo a racket bomb. So it looks really nice. I also bought uh, three boosters at my local game shop and I got the only good card I got is Savage Summoning. So yeah. Okay, Shiv's Embrace, Air Servant, Phantom Warrior, and our rare is Imposing Sovereign. So, oh, and the Cat Token. I like that card. I think it will see some play in Naya Blitz or some other decks that have white. Oh, Felspeth. Oh, I'm, I'm, never mind, I'll do it with this rare, and the uh, Staff of the Mind models, Flesh Pulper Giant, and Fire Shrieker. No file. And our rare is Ratchet Bomb, for two generic mana, an artifact, but they tap it, put a charge counter on Ratchet Bomb. Tap, sacrifice, Ratchet Bomb, destroy each non-land permanent with converted mana cost equal to the number of charge counters on Ratchet Bomb. So this card is pretty good against token based decks. And yeah, basically you put it into play, tap it, sacrifice it, and then you have destroyed all their tokens. Because tokens mana cost is zero. Okay. A steel form sliver. Angelic accord. Come on. I want the young pyromancer. Still no files. And our rare is Tark Prophecy. 
so this is kind of a necropotent thingy. Uh, three, black and enchantment, and whenever a creature you control dies, you draw a card and lose one life. So this is definitely a, a EDH card. I like it, and I don't know, maybe zombies will become a thing again. I don't really think so. Anyways. Or a monster. That doesn't really matter. Okay. Voracious worm. Air servant. And a flesh pulper giant. <gasps> file. File. Yay. First file. Uh, a rare is. Oath of the ancient crap. Uh, two generic, one green, an enchantment, and whenever both of the agent wood or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. I opened... Oh, negate! Yay! I opened one on my pre for my pre-release pre deck, and I got two Johnny's chosen so I had an enchantment deck. Okay. A blessing. Woodborn behemoth. And a blightcaster. Sliver token. I they changed the slivers into predators. And the rare is and it's chosen, just when I talked about it. So yeah, the two generic, two white, three, three. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a two, two white cat creature token onto the battlefield. If that enchantment is an aura, you may attach it to the token. So still no young pyromancers or any money cards, which will change soon. Opportunity Elixir of Immortality. Come on, and a dragon egg. Oh, yay! A Johnny, color of the bride. I told you it would change. I got a mythic, anyways. Paint Walker, one generic, two uh, white. So basically a 3 mana planeswalker that starts with 4 loyalty plus 1 is put a 1-1 one, one counter on up to 1 target creature which is really good because you can even do it when you don't have a creature because it's up to 1. Uh, minus 3 target creature gains flying and double strike until end of turn and minus 8 put X 2-2 two, two white cat creature tokens onto the battlefield where X is your life total. So yeah. Really awesome card. I like Pain Walkers. Everyone does. Almost everyone. I played against it at my two headed giant pre release and I lost to it. Oh, well, that weren't a surprise. So, yeah, I saw my rare. Anyways, yeah, claims the future. I just did it, I saw what I'm going to pull. Anyways, prior back alpha and a battle sliver and our rare is a thorncaster sliver. Four generic one red two two sliver and sliver creatures you control have whenever this creature attacks it deals one damage to target creature or player. So yeah, slivers are one of the most awesome tribal dudes ever because Basically, they have that all their effects affect other slivers, and the thing they changed that with the new slivers is is that uh, the old slivers had all slivers, but now only you only slivers you control. Anyway, Road of Ruin, Bramble Crush, and a Steel Form sliver. 
Yay, foil. Anyways, our rare is Nightmare. Five generic, one black, a flying creature. Nightmare's power and toughness are each equal to the number of swamps you control. So this is a casual card, really good in casual formats, like casual. <laughs> Anyways, basically you have a mono black deck and if you have like six swamps, it's a 6-6 six, six flying, which is good. Oh, come on, I wanted another foil mutant vault. Awesome foil swamp. Oh. At my pre-release draft, I got a foil mutant vault, which is a badass card. Shock, because they can three print lightning bolt because it's too awesome. Wizards, why did you make these cards? Uncommon. They're like the worst things ever. Anyways, Glimpse the Future. A Warden of Evil Isle. And our rare is. Path of Bravery. Two generic, one. Wait. An enchantment. As long as your life total is greater than or equal to the, your starting life total. Creatures you control get plus one plus one. Whenever one or more creatures you control attack, you gain life equal to the number of attacking creatures. So this <gasps> Yeah Dragon Egg token Kamehameha This might see some play in modern Soul Sisters deck. So yeah. Still no young pyromancers, and it's almost the end of the first row. Okay, Wall of Swords, Sarah Angel, and a Artificer's, an Artificer's Hex. So, Sapperling token, a Planes, and a Rare Ease. Grim Return. Three generic, one white, one black, an instant, and choose target creature card in a graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn. Put that card onto the battlefield under your control. So, a casual card. And maybe it will see some play in Reanimator sideboard decks. I don't know. So, yeah. That was, that's really strange that I have gotten zero young pyromancers from 15 boosters. Stuff of the Death Magus, Woodborne Behemoth, and an Angelica Court. Why? Why? I want, I want a young pyromancer. At least one. That, that's kind of bad. Lead. Anyways, our rare is Liliana's Reaver, aka Mini Grave Titan. Two generic and two black death touch, 4 3 creature. Whenever Liliana's Reaver deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card and you put a 2 2 black zombie creature token onto the battlefield tapped. So, yeah. This card might see some standard play, but I doubt that it will go up in price because it's an intro pack rare. Anyways, second row. So let's hope I can get something awesome. Okay, Doom Blade. A quarter shield. Come on, Flames of the Firebrand. Oh, is it a foil? Yay, a foil. Our air is a bone side sliver. So, three generic, one white, two two sliver creature that gives sliver creatures you control double strike. And wall of swords. 
Right. Well, there's my young pyromancer. Or my expensive mythic. Okay, Stonehorn Chanter, Windstorm, Illusionary Armor, and the rare is Haunted Plate Mail. So, four generic artifact equipment, and equip creature gets plus four plus four. You equip is four, and when you play zero mana. Until end of turn, Hunter Plate Mail becomes a 4 4 spirit artifact creature that's no longer an equipment. Equ activate this ability only if you control no creatures. So maybe this card will be played in control decks. So when you basically play this card, then uh, let's say play a Supreme Verdict and then. Activate it and attack your opponent for four for free. So yeah, Shimmer and Grotto, brave the elements. Come on, stuff of the flame magus. And our rare is lightsaber paladin. Best art ever. Look at that lightsaber. Looks awesome, in my opinion. Anyways, one generic, two white. A first strike lifelink, two two creature, that, and he can be the target of black or red spells your opponents control. So, half protection from black and red, and semi protection, and basically a bad version, not a bad version. But basically a paladin and back. So yeah. A little bit different but I think we will see some play in standard. But who knows, time will tell. Spell plus Voracious Worm Ga Mo. Dragon egg. Are you serious? That's weird. How can't I get an uncommon? Anyways, and our rare is Primal Panty. Mythic rare. Five generic, one green, an enchantment, and whenever you cast a creature spell, put a 3 3 green beast creature token onto the battlefield. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put three plus one plus one counters on target of creature you control. And whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain three life. So, I think this is a good card in EDH. Especially in cave deck. Cave, cave, I don't know. So, oops. I got the other crap rare. Anyways, hope I can get a Banisher Priest, Tenacious Dead, and a Millstone, a Colossal Well. Bomb in Limited. Read, pause. I'm not going to read. Pause, read, buy. Anyways. box hasn't been very good at the moment, but it's M14, so yeah. But I still like this set. A Colonial Tusker. A Volcanic Kaiser and... Come on! A Foil. Wolf Token. Come on! I want a young pyromancer. A rare is clone. Everyone knows what this does. And our foil is. Oh, nice. Savage summoning foil. I was hoping to get this foil. Now I have two.
So Savage Summoning can't be countered and the next creature card you cast this turn can can be cast as though it had flesh. That spell can't be countered. That creature enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. So this is a two for one in yourself. Two one I don't know how. But I like it. This video is pretty long and I hope this will be less than an hour for an hour. Vampire Warlord. Phantom Warrior. Diabolic Tutor. I hate you. Oh, nice. Scavenging Goose. A Legacy card. A soon to be standard card. And a modern, soon to be modern card. Basically a bear that has pay one green exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a creature card, put a plus one plus one counter on scavenging goals and you gain one life. A really good card because you don't even have to tap it. And basically it's, it crawls really big because it's awesome. And everything is awesome. Except the fact that I haven't got any young pyro mancers. Probably in Cauldron. Brave the element. Oh hi. Best art in the set. It's better than Finslayer Paladin. Because it has a kitty on it. Anyway. Mage Sparker. Two red, one generic, a 3-2 first strike, and whenever an opponent casts a white or blue instant or sorcery spell, Mind Sparker deals 2 damage to that player. So, second row is going to end, and I'm going, trying to be quick, and yeah. Tenacious, de dead, wall of frost, fire shrieker. And our rare is Thorncaster Sliver. So I have two. That sucks. There is my Archangel of Thune and my young Pyromancer. Okay, Molten Birth. Enroaching Wastes. And an Opportunity. A predator token that is actually a sliver token, and our rare is silence. One white, an instant, and your opponent ca can't cast spells this turn. So yeah. Bramble crush, stuff of the mind, mothers. Come on, Shoes Embrace, Muta Vault, and a Foil Wild Rebirth, and a Dragon Token. Yoohoo, this booster is a bomb. Anyway, one land, add one ge generic to mana pool, and pay one generic. Muta Vault becomes a 2 2 creature with all creature types and the land of turn. It's still a land. Basically, when you have a sliver deck, this is an awesome card because Merfolk have a lot of lords and sliver also have a lot of things. Slivers. I also have a foil version of that. Doomblade. Blessing. Stonehorn Chanter. <gasps> Sacred Necromancer. So. I think this will see some, maybe it will see some play in, uh, what's it called, uh, aristocrat deck, because it is awesome. Anyway, this is the last row. Oops. So, last chance to open something really awesome that makes my money back. Okay. A Colonial Tusker, a Shimmering Crotto, Stuff of the Wild Magus, and a Rare Ease, Imposing Sovereign. One generic, one white, 
a blind obedience without extort and a 2-1 creature. So again I think this is a good card. It has some potential. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Dark Stillingot, always good in EDH, Gnawing Zombie, Illusionary Armor and our rare is Pyromancer's Gauntlet. Five generic, if a red instant or sorcery spell you control or a red planeswalker you control with deal damage to a permanent or a player, it deals that much damage plus two to that permanent or player instead. So basically, basically it's the Pyromancer's Ascension, no, oh, wait. Some red enchantment card that was also in Modern Masters, but I have the versions of the old one. Come on! And our rare is Chase Memory Adept. Another planeswalker. Everyone knows what this does. And I'm trying to be quick because I don't want this video to be less than half an hour because I must be fast. Okay, our uncommons are Flames of the Firebrand, Rod of Ruin, Howl of the Night Pack, a foil, a rare is Chandra's Phoenix. All know what reprints does, does reprint the cards, and a foil smelt. Okay, I'm trying to be really quick. Birch of Expandables, Diabolic Tutor, Sarah Angel, and our rare is Life Pain Zombie. A good card. A two black, one generic, intimidate, three one, and whenever it enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand, and you choose a green or white creature card from it and exile that card. Okay, I must be fast. Okay, Mana Rift, Sliver, really good. Congregate. Oh my god! I got a young Pyromancer. And a Crap Rare. So, yeah. Let's see what I get. A spell blast, water servant, vampire warlord, and burning earth. Whenever a player taps a non basic land for mana, burning earth deals one damage to that player. Mana barbs, almost. I think it will be some standard play because everyone uses shock lands and ally and enemy lands. Oh no, Hall of the Night back. Staff of Death. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy! Oh! That was a good booster. A young pyromancer and a Karuk color of beasts. I'm not going to read what it does because you all know what it does because it's awesome. EDH card, maybe standard, I don't know. One minute, one minute. Three boosters, one minute. Dun dun dun. Right, time to get more young pyromancers. Artificer Sex, Warden of Evil's Isle, and the Congregate, and the rare is Path of Bravery. Soul Sisters card. Three more boosters. Will I get a foil rare? 40 seconds. Elixir of Immortality, Volcanic Kaiser, Maraveft Sliver, and our rare is Stryonic Resonator. And a predator sliver. Read fast. Fast. Gnawing zombie. Banish priest. Vial of poison and colossal veil. And our last pack of M14. Dun 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 dun. 
Will I get my money back or will I fail? Corrupt. Sinji Vampire. A millstone. And a rare or a mythic is Elspeth. Yes, that's a rare. I will take that. Got him. Green. Savage summoning. So yeah. I like this card. And I hope you go it. I'm going to go through my rares quickly. Anyways, I got the Path of Bravery, Savage Summoning, Colossal Rail, Stryonic Resonator, Karuk, Young Burning Earth, Karuk Sword, Life Pain Zombie, Chandra's Phoenix, Chase, Pyromancer's Gauntlet, Imposing Sovereign, Saturn Nexomancer, Mutavolt, Silence, Thorncaster, Sliver, Mind Sparker, Scavenging Goose, Foil Savage Summoning, Clone, Colossal Veil, Primeval Pounties, Finslayer Paladin, Hunter Plate Mail, Boneside Sliver, Liliana's Weaver, Grim Return, Path of Bravery, Nightmare, a Thorncaster Sliver, Ayani, Ayani, Oath of the Ancient, Crepwood, Dark Prophecy, Ratchet Bomb, Imposing Sovereign, and an Ogre Paddle Driver. So this box was okay. It had three planeswalkers and another mythic, and I guess it is okay, not bad. And hope you guys enjoyed. And I think I'm going to buy a Korean box, but I don't know, maybe. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye.